Guys, I just created an entire application from scratch using artificial intelligence in under 20 minutes. Using chat GPT for the code, you know, front end and back end, and then stable diffusion for all the image generation. I did this entire process pretending to be somebody who doesn't know how to code at all, just writing the AI prompts with a tiny bit of common sense code modification. And it was able to create this entire NFT project from scratch. The smart contracts, the website, the artwork, everything. This is really crazy. You have to see this. So in this video, I want to take you over the shoulder and show you exactly how I did this step by step. I've documented the entire process so that you can learn to do the same, whether you're not a coder at all and you want to see how you can use this technology to create your own apps, or better yet, if you're already a developer or you're trying to become a developer so that you can leverage this technology to increase your effectiveness while you're learning or doing your job. So I'm going to show you all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis and has been using AI tools like ChatGPT in my own workflow to get more done faster. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. If you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish, break into the Web 3.0 industry, increase your salary well past 100K, I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. So literally the first thing I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT, pretending like I don't know that much about programming is, can you help me create a full stack blockchain app? So it says, yes, you can. Obviously there's a lot to this, but then it just tells me exactly what to look for. So choose the blockchain platform. Uh, we're gonna go with Ethereum in this case. We already know that. Design the smart contract, develop the front end, connect the front end to the smart contract, and then test and deploy the application. And so I say, okay, let's go with Ethereum. So it says, okay, great. If you decide to go with Ethereum, then you're going to need to do these next steps. Install a text editor, install Node.js, Ganache, Truffle, and MetaMask. So I obviously have most of these things already. Uh, I've got a text editor like Sublime Text, but if you don't have one installed, you could do that, all right? But uh, now it says install Node Package Manager and NPM. So I can just verify that I have that in my system like this, Node-V. And then I make sure that I have the Ganache personal blockchain installed. That's this point-and-click blockchain here. It, it even tells you inside ChatGPT that you can download from the website. So I've already done that. Okay. And then also uh, Truffle. Okay. So I can see that I've got Truffle in my terminal here. Truffle version. If I don't have it, obviously I can install it just like ChatGPT tells me to uh, with this npm install dash g Truffle. And then finally MetaMask is this little fox icon up in my corner. Uh, by browser here. And if I don't have it, obviously I could just follow its steps to set that up. And so now that I've got this set up, um, it says, you know, once you've got this set up, you can start building your full stack Ethereum app. Here are the general steps involved. So design your smart contracts, compile them and deploy them, develop the front end, connect the front of the smart contracts and test and deploy the app. That's kind of what it's set up here again. So I'm not going to fault chat GPD for doing that, but I'm kind of at a, at a block. I've got this stuff, but like, what's my next concrete step? So I say, okay, how do I create a new Truffle app? And it says to create a new Truffle app, you know, go to your terminal, find where you want to do it, and do Truffle init. Okay, so you want to go to your terminal, find exactly where you want to create the project. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm a programmer and I like to create directories like this. I'll say make directory. And so all I've done here is just create a new folder and enter it into that folder. And that's exactly what it tells me to do. I'm just doing it my way because I'm a programmer. You could create a new uh, window in Finder or in your Windows File Explorer or whatever, okay? So uh, I'm going to do exactly what it tells me. I'm just going to copy and paste the terminal command. Okay. Uh, it's funny. It says C sharp on here. That's obviously not C sharp. Uh, it's bash. So I do truffle init. This is how you create a new truffle project. All right. And then boom, it's done. Okay. So I'm going to open this in my text editor. I'm using sublime text. And now I can see that I've got all the basic stuff inside of your contracts, migrations, tests, et cetera, et cetera. And also this truffle dash config file. And so I've done exactly what ChatGPT told me to. And so it gives me the directory structure, which we just saw. But it says once the project's created, now you can start writing your smart contracts in the contracts directory. Okay. And then it kind of goes to the next step of compiling them. Uh, you know, and deploying them and all that type of stuff, which ChatGPT alluded to previously, okay? There's some repetitive information in here, but let's go back to our big roadmap at the top where I said, you know, hey, can you help me create a blockchain application? So we already accomplished step one, you know, choosing the blockchain platform. We said, let's use Ethereum, and it told me how to create an Ethereum application. But let's go to the next major step, which is to design the smart contract, okay? 
Um, we have the app here and it told us where we can put the contracts, okay, inside this contracts directory. But now we wanna go through the process of actually designing the contract. So we need to come up with the concept and then we need to tell ChatGPT what that concept is and how to write the code and how to actually put it in the project so that we can use it. And so next I said, I'm ready to create the smart contract. So can you create a mintable NFT collection of 10 NFTs where users must pay 0.01 ether to mint each one? And so it says, sure, you know, here's an example of exactly what we're talking about. Now, really quickly, I know you might want to do way more than 10 NFTs. We're just going to make that a small variable that you could obviously change later. This is just for example purposes. So it gives me the full smart contract code here. Okay. And then it tells me exactly what to do. Okay. It says, once you've done this, you need to install the open Zeppelin contracts, which you can see are imported here inside this uh, file. And then it says, you also need to update your truffle dash config file to include the following code you know, this stuff right here. So let's go through this step by step. So first of all, let's go ahead and create uh, this NFT smart contract here. I'll just say, where does the NFT smart contract go? Where do I put it in my project? Or how, I'll say, how do I add it to my project? And it says the NFT smart contract is being written in Solidity. And basically you just create a new folder inside of here and it's, you just put it, sorry, new file inside the contracts folder, and then you add this code up here uh, to that. So I'm going to go inside Sublime Text. I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call it mynft.sol, just like it told me to. Okay, I'm literally just going to copy and paste all of this uh, code here. All right, paste it in here. All right, save it. I'm going to do exactly what it tells me to next. I'm going to do npm install uh, open up on contracts. It tells me to run this in my terminal. Okay, so I'm going to do that do npm install open zip of contracts all right and that's done and so once i've done that i'm going to follow its next instructions which is to update this truffle dash config file to include the following code basically what this is doing is just setting up my network and uh adding the correct solidity version uh which it used up here so let's go to our truffle dash config and let's just clear out the whole thing basically and then just do this all right and then let's take our next steps which ChatGPT tells us uh, we want to compile the contracts. Compile. Just make sure it compiles properly. All right, so I hit an error, which is actually to be expected whenever you're coding with a, an AI like this because it's going to make mistakes, but it can sometimes fix its own mistakes, and that's what's really nice. So it said, you know, parse error source file, con you know, contains this, blah, 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 blah. All I did was copy and paste the error message into ChatGPT. So I said, how do I fix this error? I literally just took what's in my terminal, put it in ChatGPT, and it says this error indicates that you're using a different version of Solidity compiler than specified in this particular file. So what you have to do is go into your truffle-config file and update this line right here. Okay, so I did that. And then you also need to update your uh, Solidity version inside your main contract. So I did that, 0 to 8.1. And then I reran truffle compile and it is now working properly. Okay, and so now that we've got that contract done, I'm gonna go back to our roadmap that ChatGPT gave us. You know, we have compiled the smart contract, but now it says, how do you, you know, you need to deploy the smart contract. So I just said, you know, how do I deploy the contract? So it says, update your truffle-config file. Okay, so we've actually already done this. It looks like what it told us to do before. Again, ChatGPT kind of repeats itself, but then it says you need to create a new a script under the migrations directory. For example, you can create a file called to deploy contracts with the following code. So let's do that. So I just created this file to deploy contracts and I pasted it in the exact code that ChatGPT gave us. And now it says run the migration script using the truffle migrate command. Okay, so that's gonna be in the terminal. All right, so let's do that. Let's go to here and do truffle migrate. And so womp womp, I got an error here. Of course, I know what this error is because I'm a developer, I do this all the time, but I'm pretending like I'm not. So I just asked ChatGPT I said, hey, I got an error. How do I fix it? And then I just pasted in the exact error that it gave me. And it said, hey, this error could be for several reasons. And the number one suggestion here, it says you should try these things, is make sure that your Ethereum development client, example, Ganache, is running and listening on this port. Okay, and it's got a couple of the suggestions, but this is the obvious one. Because at the very beginning of our roadmap, you know, it said, hey, uh, you know, install something like Ganache and make sure you run it in order to uh, build your projects. So let's go ahead and start Ganache. All right, so now that I've got Ganache running, let's go ahead and uh, try it again. And boom, it worked. All right, so now that we have done these first couple steps, okay, we have uh, signed the contracts, we deployed it, and put it on the blockchain. These are the exact high level steps chat to be told us. Um, now we need to develop the front end, okay? It says you can choose some options here React, Angular, or Vue. 
let's just choose React, okay? So down here, I went ahead and said, all right, uh, I'm ready to create the front end. How can I make a React JS application for minting NFTs? And it says, great, here's the exact steps. Go ahead and copy and paste this into your terminal. MPX create React app NFT minter. All right, so I have done uh, that right here. There you go, MPX create React app NFT mentor, and it has gone through all the steps of doing that. So now let's go and enter into that directory. All right, and let's do the next thing. It says uh, npm install. So cd NFT mentor. That's what I just did. It's npm install web three React Bootstrap and Bootstrap. Paste those into our terminal. All right, so all that stuff installed, and I went ahead and opened up this new application inside Sublime Text. So again, we got two apps here. We've got the Truffle app for the smart contracts and then the uh, React app for the front-end application. And so ChatGPT is saying, next, you want to create a file called web3.js in the source directory of your application. So just some basic literacy says, go into the source folder here and create this new app called web3.js. Okay, I did exactly that. And we're going to copy code, all right, that it tells us here, all right? It's just saying uh, that this is what you need to do to connect your product to the blockchain. So now we're going to create a new file called myNFTContract.json on the source file. All right, and so I've done that, okay? And it says, put the JSON representation of your NFT contracts ABI inside there. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I know exactly what it's talking about and where to find it. But if you don't know where this is, you can just ask ChatGPT, hey, what does that mean? Okay, and it would tell you because I've had these error messages. I've asked it what it is and it tells me. But I'm going to speed things up a little bit and go track that thing down inside my Truffle project. That's just this ABI here. This is the JSON representation of the smart contracts. I'm going to copy this and uh, uh, put it inside of here, just like ChatGPT told me to. And then the next step, it says, import the Web3.js library and your NFT contract ABI and set your app.js file. Okay, then use this. So I'm just gonna look to see what's in the app.js file so far. Okay. And then let's just close this, close this, see this app.js file. And uh, what we're gonna do is literally just take this entire thing and copy it and replace what's inside of here. Okay. So let's just save that. And then uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so it says replace network ID with the network you are connected to. Example 5777 for Ganache. So that's this network ID right here. All right, let's just go into our app. Let's find this network ID and then replace it just like it told me to with this. And then we want to implement the functionality for your NFT UI mentor components, such as allowing users to mint their stuff. Um, okay, so that's we'll do that momentarily. But let's just go ahead and... Um, you know, do this part, deploy the app to a hosting provider or serve it locally using a development server. I'm just going to say, how do I use a development server locally? And so basically it's saying, just type, you know, open a new terminal and type in npm start. And it says, just make any changes, you'll see it. And when you're done, you can click control C to stop it, which is actually pretty nice that it tells you how to stop it. Sometimes people just get totally lost with that. So let's do npm start. All right, and once it did exactly what it told me to, it opened up a new uh, browser window here with the NFT mentor on it. Okay, I can even see my MetaMask is connected uh, with my account from Ganache. And we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so now let's make this look better. I'll say, can you update the React app, provide people uh, the ability to purchase the NFTs with the click of the button, and then can you show the NFTs on the page? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and put it in here. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, let's save it. Let's go back to our page and see how that's looking. All right, connect the network, and then boom, you can see we got something here. Okay, it's pretty basic. It just has some copy that we can change. Shows our account. You own zero of 10 NFTs. And we can now click to buy the NFT. But we see we have a problem. We don't actually have any pictures for our NFTs, okay? Um, there's 10 that are possibly able to purchase here, but we never made any pictures. So let's ask ChatGPT how to do that. So here I am going to cheat just a little bit, okay? But we're still going to use AI, which is pretty cool, okay? So, uh, you know, we need pictures for the NFT. That's obvious. But let's ask ChatGPT how to put these pictures into our project. So... Um, I'm going to use an AI image generator to make the NFT images in the first place, okay? So I just went to the uh, Stable Diffusion release for HuggingFace.co, okay? And I just added in a prompt here. It said Mutant Monkey on the Moon cartoon steampunk, and it gave me four images, okay? So I need 10 total, so I'm just going to do this a couple times to give me 12, and I'll just pick the best 10, and we can add those to the project. 
All right, so I went ahead and did that and then just picked the best 10 that I'm going to add. Oh, I kind of like this one. That could be the first image that we show. But now that we have these, I'm going to ask like ChatGPT, how do we put this into our NFT app? ChatGPT is saying that I've got a couple options here to do these 10 images. I just asked it how to do it. Um, you could upload them to IPFS. That's the interplanetary file system. Or you could just import them locally into your project. So just for the sake of cranking out this app quickly, let's do it locally. We could always ask ChatGPT later how to actually use IPFS. So I just took all these 10 images that I downloaded from the AI image generator. And I'm just going to drag them into this images directory that ChatGPT told me to create uh, inside this uh, source file or source directory right here, right next to my app.js. And then I'm going to simply just replace this line right here to actually show the image from that directory. Okay. You, you could ask chat GPT how to do that, but that's kind of just a basic thing that I'm going to just kind of infer here. Okay. Cheat just a tiny bit. So anyways, now we can see that's what it looks like on the page. Okay. So this is looking a lot better. Now we have our AI image uh, generation here, but now I'm going to say, can you just take the nav bar or make a nav bar at the top that says our our brand name moon monkeys nft on the left and shows the user's address so i just pasted in the code for reference so it knows exactly what we're working with so it returns this i'm going to copy the code all right toss it back in our editor here all right got that nav bar here now here's the container okay got that in new import at the top and let's save that and check our page and that looks a lot better okay so now that we've got that, we can take out this like my NFT marketplace, the connected account. Let's just clean up the code a little bit. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to ask chat GPT to do it. I just highlight these two lines and delete them. Okay, let's go back and look at our project here. And then now, boom, that looks a lot better. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back in here and literally just like move some of this HTML code down, reorganize it. It it's like pretty self-explanatory. Like you don't have to be an advanced coder just to be able to understand how to do this basic manipulation, just like drag and drop some HTML code. Let's save that, just reorganize those code blocks. And that looks a lot better, okay? So now we can see our collection title here. Here's the address we're connected with. Here's all the NFTs and we can buy the NFT. Let's just make sure we can click the button and that we can sign the transaction with MetaMask. And then boom, there we go. We own one out of the 10 NFTs in this entire collection. All right, so that's a complete demonstration of me creating a full stack blockchain application from scratch, completely with artificial intelligence using chat GPT and also AI image generation like Stable Diffusion. And it's really crazy what I was able to accomplish in such a short amount of time with this technology. Now, where could you go from here? Of course, you could take this project and put it out there on a blockchain, deploy your website live to the web, and I can leave that to you as an exercise, but I want to show you is how quickly you can get something off the ground with this technology. Now, the question I'm going to get all the time is, oh my gosh, is this going to replace the need for coders? Well, I don't think the technology as it stands right now is going to completely replace the need for coders because as you were seeing, I was kind of having to ask it to change some things here and there. And my knowledge as a coder helped me do that Although I was trying to sort of pretend like I didn't know very much and I was able to accomplish quite a bit. So here's what I think it's going to do instead. I think it's going to actually increase the effectiveness of coders and help them get things done faster. And that's also really good if you're trying to become a blockchain developer because you can learn twice as fast with this. I'm helping my students leverage the power of ChatGPT to learn blockchain faster and it's helping them do just that. And I hope it'll help you do the same. So if you're as excited about this as I am, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to continue Continue your journey as a blockchain developer, definitely go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They like you to make courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I should have go for the throat and become an in-demand blockchain master. Step by step from start to finish over at adaptiveversity.com forward slash bootcamp. I can share to break into the booming blockchain industry, increase your salary well past 100 k You don't have to be an expert to get started right now. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapiversity.